Hello, welcome. My name is Tracy. I'm an independent Stamping Up demonstrator here in Central Victoria, Australia. Thank you so much for joining me today. Today I'm taking part in the monthly global video collaboration group where we have Stamping Up demos in the UK, USA, Canada, Germany, Netherlands, Scotland, France and Australia, where I live. Each month we choose a different stamp set and we do a video tutorial with that set. Now it is like a blog hop, but it's a video hop through YouTube. So we're all Stamping Up demonstrators and if you live in any of the countries mentioned and you're after a Stamping Up demonstrator, check out the links to the videos and get in touch with those demonstrators. They would love to help you out. So this month, for the month of November, we are using the Perfectly Plaid stamp set. It's in the holiday catalogue. Let me bring it in. It's a really gorgeous set. There is four beautiful trees lovely fonts and then we have these little pine tones which are really sweet it's a 13 piece photopolymer stamp set you can buy it in the bundle with the tree punch and i highly recommend because you save yourself 10 percent and i am using the punch today in my card so this is a really quick and easy card and i love that it's quite a simple card but when you're making lots and lots of cards, sometimes a simple design make really is elegant as well. So I love how this one's turned out. The gorgeous white, pink, the crumb cake, and this pretty bronze star. So the other supplies needed for that, besides the stamp set and the punch, is the subtle embossing folder. This is highly recommended. This is so pretty. I have the star designer elements and these are in the holiday catalog so check them out if you haven't already seen them blushing bride ink two and a quarter inch circle punch and that's it so it's a really simple card and I'll bring my kit in here as well now all the measurements and supplies can be found over my blog there is a link to my blog post in the description of this video so you can check that out as well so we have crumb cake card base and I also have the crumb cake for the matting. This is what we're going to emboss with the subtle embossing folder. I have a piece of whisper white, a piece of blushing bride which are just going to be layered on top. And then I also have another piece of whisper white. I, this is a huge piece. I don't need this big but this is just to cut out my tree and punch it. Now it has to be big enough that I can actually hold onto it and still punch it at the same time so that's why it's such a big piece. And I have a piece of vellum as well that we're just going to punch out with that two and a quarter inch punch. So I'm going to bring in that big shot first. Well, let's emboss with that subtle embossing folder and then we can do all our punching and stamping. So I'm just going to place this straight inside the folder. We only need the one cutting plate on top, but I'm going to need a bit of a shim. And for that, I'm just going to use a few pieces of card. Now I am purchasing the blue embossing plate. I haven't got it yet, but um, if you have that, you could use that. So let's run this one through. So let's take a few more off. It's always a bit hit and miss, so it depends on your embossing plate, embossing machine, sorry, um, how much tension there is to how much pieces you need on top. And this turns out so pretty. Look at that. Such great texture. So we don't need the big shot anymore. Let's get rid of it. So our card base is all ready to go. I'll need to stamp on my Blushing Bride piece and we'll also need the larger piece of Whisper White. Now I have this tree here, which you could choose any one you want. I wanted to do this one here. I think that just looks so pretty and delicate. And we have the sentiment, ho, 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 that we're going to stamp on the Blushing Bride. So I'm also going to bring in another piece of just scrap paper so I don't get it all over my grid paper there. Using the Blushing Bride ink, what I'm going to do is I'm going to stamp the ho 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 all the way along that card.
You could also do this while you're watching TV. If you want to make all your cards while you're watching TV. So very quickly, I'm going to bring the tree punch in as well. I'm going to bring the tree stamp in. And we just want to stamp one of those. Excellent. So we have all our elements ready to go. Let's punch out the tree. It's going to be my quickest video, I think. Excellent. The two and a quarter inch circle punch for the vellum. I'm going to glue my Blushing Bride down to the Whisper White. So there's just that thin little border all the way around. I thought that looked really good. I'm going to pop up my Christmas tree with some dimensionals. I hope you like this simplistic card. I think sometimes it's nice to do really elaborate Christmas cards, but it's not really realistic to make lots of them. So this could be the card that you give out to people that don't appreciate the handmade cards, you know, the ones that throw them out. Okay, so we have this. I'm going to place some glue dots down on the back where that tree is, so that hides it all. Because you don't want your glue to stick through that vellum, you will see it and it doesn't look very nice. There we go, so we have three glue dots there behind that tree. I'm gonna pop that down on our piece. And let's bring the stars in. These are so pretty. I'm gluing my subtle embossed piece down straight down onto our card front now depending on if you're going to mail these depends on how much you want to pop up I thought if I'm going to mail these because we have that embellishment here creates a little bit of extra dimension I want to keep it as flat as I could so we have that straight down let's glue this one straight down Super simple and I love that you could change the colors around and make different cards just by changing your pieces here thank you so much for joining me today I hope you've enjoyed this card if you have please give me a thumbs up and I'd love it if you left me a comment if you haven't hit subscribe please do that as well um, you won't miss my next video all the other demonstrators have got some wonderful projects for you using this stamp set so please check them out that links are in the video description We'll be back next month, the first Wednesday of the month, and I hope that you can come back and join us then for that as well. Until next time, have a wonderful day, and I'll see you all very soon. Bye-bye.